Hey, what's up you guys? This is Visual Guide here and today I'm going to be starting a new series in which I will tell you guys basically quick tips or really good easy tips that have helped me along the way in Lightroom. Um, in today's first video, I'm basically going to be explaining how you can save settings from one photo. For example, let's say this is a stock photo I took, how I can get settings from this photo and this edit I did and you know basically just copy that and paste it over here. So it's really easy. All you really have to do is you go over the picture that you want the desired effects from. For example, I want the effects from this picture to be on that picture, I guess. Um, I'm basically just going to right click the picture. You're just going to go to develop settings and then you're just going to go into copy settings. And in this module, it's basically going to ask you what you want to copy from the old picture over to the new picture. Now, keep in mind, if you did some minor adjustments using radial filters or gradient filters, this will give you the option to enable and disable those as well. So I usually just do the gradient filters and then I just edit them on the other picture to kind of keep as much of the effect as possible. So I'm, I have basically everything checked, as you can see. So I'm just going to hit copy. And then it's just going to be loading and it's just copying the settings. And then, for example, I want to go over to this picture. Uh, so all I'm going to do is right click it, do the exact same thing, develop settings, and then just go into paste settings. And there you go. The desired effects have now been added. So now you have two pictures basically looking exactly the same. And if you go over to your develop module as well, you'll see that both pictures have basically the have the exact same settings over here in your tone curves in your your basic module everything it's identical so this saves you a lot of time and a lot of hassle so you don't have to re-edit a lot of pictures usually what i'll do is i'll just copy an effect from an old picture and uh paste it over but i hope you guys enjoyed the first uh quick tip video if you guys want to see more of these be sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out you guys